Welcome to the topic of nested loops. Now all nested loops are are loops that are inside of loops. So again this is an important topic. We don't spend much time on it here in code.org but I think we will probably use these in our programs. I thought a great place to start this example would be with the the maze loops stage six because I think I told people at that time that we'll find an easier way to do a lot of these loops that we were spending so much time on. Uh, you might remember the this is example where we had to go around this this big square right here, these three long sides, and in order to loop it, we had to do loop one very long loop, which was these five forwards and then a left turn and we loop that uh, in order to get around three quarters of this we loop that I think three times but there's obviously an easier way to do this because we know whenever we say the same thing over and over again we should put that in a loop too so we could take these five forwards and put those in another loop so we don't need five forwards here. What we need are what? One forward. Let's put these in the garbage. And we'll do that five times. And then outside that loop is a turn left. So we move forward five times and then turn left. And that's set in the other loop. So you see it's a loop inside a loop. So instead of saying that forward five times, we just repeat it five times. But then we repeat the whole thing three times. So one time it'll move forward five times and turn left, move forward five times and turn left, and move forward five times, five times and turn left. It's just a shorter way to do it because we nested the loop. Now, this can get really confusing if you nest too many loops, because if you think about this, you could put a loop inside a loop, inside a loop, inside a loop and so on. So most companies and people generally set a rule that you can't go more than three or four deep loops inside of loops because it gets really confusing after a while, especially when you get into really long codes. Now uh, let's go back to the nested loops lesson just to show you how it works. Um, the two here. So they're using drawing activities here. Now you see when we run it, it does one loop, right? But you see there's already a repeat here to do to make the one shape. So when we add a loop, so this does these shapes multiple times, do you see there's a loop here inside this loop? So we need a nested loop to make this work in the best way. I mean, we could make it, do it without it, but it would just take longer. It would be more code, and we want to get it into as short code as we can. So we'll do this uh, six times, right? So it's just a loop inside a loop. That's all they're showing you here. It's not very complicated uh, in terms of how we fix it, but it's an important topic. Now I think that most of the ones along this lesson are the, exactly the same. It's not going to be very complicated. They're just showing you that it's loops inside of loops and you might have to add a single statements. But as long as you understand the idea of nested loops, you've got the important lesson here. And realize that uh, we'll be using these a lot in our games and our activities. And you just have to be aware that when you do it, uh, they can they can get pretty complicated and you have to just pay very close attention to when you're using them so good luck on this section if you have any questions please let me know I'll be giving you more practice with these nested loops later on